it is time to heat up the Morning Blend kitchen because mm. we're cooking with mm. Thunder Bay. Mm. And you know, I think in the fall, we tend to think of comfort food. Yes, we do. No matter what's happening outside of the temperature, and we try to think that, oh yeah, this is going to make us feel better. Soon this as you go back to good. school, I want comfort food. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Mike Stigler is here to make a meatloaf because, of course, it's Thunder Bay. So here's what they're going to do. They're going to make it with a twist. Welcome back, Mike. Good morning, ladies. Hey, Mike. Yeah. How y'all doing today? You. Good. Does that ever look delicious? I love meatloaf. That's a whole I lot of meatloaf too. right there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. just our one of our twists that we do on this is instead of doing regular uh, beef meatloaf, this is uh, meatloaf that's made with bison meat, like American bison meat. It's really good for so, you. Yeah, it's bison good for you. Um, super lean. It's, it's healthy and it's super lean. And then in addition to using bison, we also smoke the whole meatloaf. Oh, oh. wow. So we, is we, it combined with beef or just bison? And bison is buffalo for people who aren't familiar with it. Bison is not buffalo. Oh, oh Molly <laughs> We just had this discussion. It's kind of like buffalo, isn't Sorry, it? Sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. It's, <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's a it's a different species, actually. A lot of people oh, it call is. it. A lot of people call it. Um, call them and, and use the words interchangeably. But um, American bison is actually a whole different species than buffalo. It's not oh, like buffalo. Yeah, it's is not. it taste similar at all or no? Well, buffalo is actually like water buffalo, like what they have overseas. Yeah. Um, so I've never had water buffalo, but okay. um, I like the taste of American bison quite well. Though. Bison. <laughs> bison not meatloaf. Don't worry, I didn't know that either. Yep. I only I mentioned it because. We just had this conversation right before oh, we did? went on okay. this morning. Yeah. Good to I know. There you go. Um, Fast so yeah, fact, you can correct all of your friends and be the, mm -hmm. the head of the party. You're the smarty, <laughs> like me. Yeah. <laughs> and also, we do use beef, so you're absolutely correct. You okay. combine yes. it. Yes. Yeah. We use a little bit of beef just because bison. You're just trying to make me feel better. Because bison is so, so is so lean. Yes. So that was very smart of you to mention the, the beef. Okay. Addition. So yes, I'm gonna cut into this a little bit here. Show you what's what we all have going on inside here. So this is meatloaf that's made with. Bison. It's got a little bit of beef inside of there. It's got onions. It's got peppers. I um, don't and then see instead any of ketchup. instead of using um, red crumbs in here, what we use instead is oats as a binder. Oh. So that's what we use okay. for a binder in there. Um, so we we smoke the entire thing over hickory chips, and then we cut off wedges that are probably about eight ounces each, and then yeah. we give you two eight ounce slices um, for each entree that, that you get. Delicious. Wow. So another thing that we do that's a little bit different is that instead of you know just slicing it and, and serving it like that, we go ahead and put it into a pan like this and we saute it up a little bit okay. with some other ingredients. So that way what you get on the outside is you get a little bit of a sear going on on mm -hmm. top of there. So it just um, adds a different level of flavor to it. So we've got our roasted potatoes going on in the pan there. We're going to add in a little bit of a mushroom medley. Yeah. Now these are three different kinds of mushrooms. We've got portobello mushrooms in there. We've got a little bit of button mushrooms. Um, we've got cremini mushrooms, and those are all sautéed um, up with a little bit of rosemary and some fresh herbs. Then we also have going on over here is some green beans. Now these green beans are fresh green beans that we get in. This time um, of year, they're yep. the best. We uh, go ahead and uh, parboil those, cook them a little bit, and then we chill them in some cold water so that they're cooked and ready to go. And then we finish them off in a pan with a little bit of Cajun seasoning, mm. and then we put a little bit of Asiago cheese on top mm, of there as well yummy. to kind of help that all. It's great melt for together. color on the plate too. Yeah, it's good for color, and it's you know I mean one of the things we like to do at Thunder Bay is you could just have meatloaf, mashed potatoes, gravy, and be done with it, and that'd be fine. But you know we're going to do the bison meatloaf and we're going to smoke it and then instead of just slicing it and flopping it on a plate we're going to you know saute it up a little bit and instead yeah, of using are. regular mash we're going to use rosemary roasted reds you know and instead of just plain green beans we're going to blacken them and put some asiago cheese on there as well so yeah like that. you know we would like to stay within, right. within the realm of, of you know things that are familiar to people but at mm -hmm. the same time doing something a little bit different to put our own twist That's on delicious. it and to give you a reason to come on out and visit us at Thunder Bay as opposed to, you know, just going to the diner down the road. Absolutely. Bring in the so A game. We're going to go ahead and put our potatoes onto our plate here alongside of our meatloaf. Yeah. Um, so you get the little bit of the aromatics going on from the rosemary there, which kind of blends in with the flavors. Are you supposed to ever eat the rosemary or no? Pardon me? Are you ever supposed to eat the rosemary? Uh, once you cook it a little bit, you can eat it, okay. yeah. Um, I just wondered if it was rude to pick it out, you know. Uh, no, some people don't mm. like to because it's a little bit, you know, firm and if it's not cooked mm -hmm. really, you know, well, sometimes it can be a little bit kind of like pine needle-esque, I right. guess you would say, in texture. Um, so that's kind of up to you. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put our green beans on here, our blackened green beans oh, with a little good. bit of the Asiago <laughs> cheese on top of there as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to finish that off with a little bit of uh, beef demi glaze, which is just like a reduction. So once again, that's something that's a little bit different than using just your traditional gravy on there. This is a reduction of like au jus. Um, that turns into like a nice glaze and the flavor gets all concentrated that. in there. And that is the bison wow. smoked meatloaf out at Thunder Bay right. Grill in Pewaukee. That's great.
Ma, yeah, the meatloaf. Is, this is actually on the lunch menu um, as well as on the dinner menu. And also okay. on the lunch menu, we have a meatloaf sandwich, okay. which um, has smoked Gouda cheese. It has barbecue sauce on it. Um, and that's got some caramelized onions on there as well. So we have meatloaf a couple different ways. Um, and this is, like I said, on the menu at lunch oh and at dinner out at Thunder Bay. Is the lunch portion smaller? That's delicious. Nope, this is, this right wow. here is the same portion that you get for lunch. Mm. And for dinner. Um, great time to visit for brunch, make reservations, right? On yes. Sundays? Yes, definitely. Sunday brunch every Sunday from 10 until 2. Uh, we have omelets made to order. We have uh, chef carved ham. We have waffles. We have French toast. We have, you know, beef. We have chicken. We have, you know, the whole entire produce bar, non alcoholic beverages, desserts. We have, That's you know, fantastic. everything. Head out to Thunder Bay. Here's where you do it. Check it on out. Go on out for brunch. Do it. Get this. It's on the dinner menu, right? Yes. The dinner loaf. and lunch. lunch. Dinner and lunch in Pewaukee. Okay. There you go. Exit 194 and Highway 164. Exit 294 there in Pewaukee.